Welcome back. So now we have Heroku installed and the CLI as well. Um, and what you need to do next, because we're actually going to deploy this project now to this application already uh, without doing any changes at all. So first of all, we need the Heroku login here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to from a command prompt or console. By the way, the terminal here I'm using is actually found by writing Control Shift A on the Windows machine or Command uh, Alt A, uh, sorry, Command Shift A on the Mac, and then you can just write terminal and it'll pop up here and then you'll see it just disappeared now because I just did it again but then you'll actually get a terminal inside WebStorm if that's what you want to use. Anyway the first step it says is go and write Heroku login. Now mine is already logged in but you would be asked for credentials it actually asked me anyway so let's just put those in there and um, so you have your user here that's the email lgab at esv.dk and then you have your password, which is very secret. Uh, it's not very secret. <laughs> it's yeah. Okay, so now we are locked in. That's the first step. And now that actually means that now we can create my project as a Git project. And that's all you have to do. And we've done this before. And you can go and watch the Git videos if you are in doubt. Uh, you can even go and watch them if you haven't installed Git yet, because I didn't take care of that right now. Um, there, I have on my site, on my channel, you can go and find Git installation, working with Git, stuff like that. So I'll do a git init like it asked me to do. Then I'll do a Heroku git remote to set up the actual access to my uh, Heroku setup. And that's by saying Heroku, that's the command for Heroku. And then git remote and then the name of my application, cp2 rest. So there we go. Now it's set up to know where I should put my code on Heroku. Awesome. What's next? Now we need to add all our code and send it to Heroku. So step one, do a git add. Step two, do a commit and we can say make it better. I don't care what it says. It's just the text. And do a git push here in the end to actually get this to our Heroku master. Now it'll push it and push it and try to deploy it uh, on Heroku. And um, it's not going to run yet. So we don't get your hopes up. It's not running yet. We need to set up some variables so we need to get going with some Mongo database. We need to set up some specific variables on Heroku to make this work. So I'll just let this deploy to Heroku now. And then in the next lesson, we'll set up the things we are missing to actually make it run on Heroku. Have fun. See you next time.